Hello everyone, Funshine X here. Welcome back to another episode of Obscurity, winner of the Jam Pack 2 Feed the Beast contest. We are going to start off the day with a little bit of Thumbcraft and then get into um, some other stuff. <laughs> I'll keep it a secret for now. Um, in between episodes, I did a few things in the uh, MC Tower Defense. I built the first defensive tower stuff. It was just crafting, so there wasn't anything exciting. Um, and then this one is bugged because the, uh, the turret mod changed in between version updates and so that one of the turrets that this used to take is no longer in the game. So now it takes bedrock and they don't actually expect you to get bedrock. It's a bug that they have fixed in the new version. Speaking of the new version, 1.1.6 is out and available for download. However, there's a few issues with lighting that I'm still looking into to see if it's worth updating or not. Um, I know they are changing a lot of things with lighting, such as glowstone blocks no longer give off light, uh, and so that includes nooks, and so we're going to have to come up with a new lighting source, but the problem is if you have any down and then you destroy them, the world still thinks there's light, or I mean the shows there's light, but it, it doesn't think there is anymore. I don't know, it's all confusing. Um, so we're looking at uh, figuring out if it's worth to upgrade to that v uh, version or not with the lighting glitches. Um, there are a lot of bug fixes, so I do want to get to it if possible. Um, the other things I did, I finished... Nope, not that one. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep. In the air, I've got now a, a auto crafting set up for um, water barrels. So the water comes in from this bedrockium drum, which I've been filling up since the beginning of the time, basically. Filling the cyclic assembler, assembler, so if I put any oak wood or oak wood slabs in there. Let's get some wood out of here. I can just toss it in here and it will construct the um, water barrels and just put them right in the QDS for me. So that's awesome. I had to turn off the one that was depositing wood um, into this QDS because we need oak wood for both of these. So that's kind of a bummer. I finished off the cobble gen um, system, so again, this is now running with 18 upgrades. That's actually the maximum that this auto crafter can take. You can see it's it's by, it's backlogged. So I might go to a cyclic assembler um, setup here for the first craft, just to really quickly get me into the double compressed, and then maybe move the diamond one to do the double into or the to single compressed do the diamond one for the compressed into double, and then I could probably use stone for the rest of the way. Um, but yep, so that's all working good. It's producing me quintuple or quad, yeah, quintuple cobble at the end of putting it into the AE system. Um, I'm generating some lava over here as well. I'm not current using netherrack, I'm just using cobble, so it is taking a lot of power. You can see I've got augments in here. <laughs> so it's generating really fast, but it's taking 3200 RF a tick. When you put the third augment in there, I think it's 8,000 or 10,000 RF attack. It's pretty crazy. But now I've got a ton of lava if I ever need it. That's completely full, so it's probably just backing up now, and then it'll shut off and stop using my power once that 80 buckets is full. Okay. Uh, the other thing I did was in the Forge of Darkness, I completed pretty much everything here. Um, crafted the Catalyst for Destruction, crafted the Staff of Light, and the teleportation staff. They were all pretty easy to craft and then you had to get a wraith node. Um, I can show them off here. The sojourner's staff is basically... let's go outside. Uh, it's a little laggy out here. But it basically is a long range torch placer. Um, so if you have it in your inventory and you shift right click so it's glowing, any torches you then place in your inventory it will kind of suck up to recharge up to 64. And then you can just um, simply toss torches from a long distance. Doesn't do a ton, you know, because <laughs> torches don't give off a lot of light in this pack. But I do like that it can toss torches. Uh, maybe there's a range on here. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> just a silly up there, slow update. All right, so that's what that guy does. Um, the other one, the Ender Staff, you again uh, shift right click to put it in charge mode and then it will eat any Ender Pearls that are in inventory. And then when you right click it will throw an Ender Pearl. Maybe if you left click, left click throws an Ender Pearl, sorry. 
I can also now hold down right click and teleport back to my base, to the Wraith node. So you make the Wraith node, you put it down, and then you just shift right click on that node, and then I can teleport to it from anywhere in the world, and I think it just eats up Ender Pearls to do that. So that's those two staffs. They're pretty pretty nice. I'm not sure how useful the Sojourners is in this pack since torches aren't very good. Alright, so that's going to do it. Um, let's get into our magic um, stuff, and then we'll get into probably killing the Wither, I think is going to be my next plan. So into Thomcraft. I've already got it set up for the Boots of the Traveler. So this is a hardened leather boots, two air nodes, a fish, uh, feather, and some um, magical fabric. Yeah, and then it's also going to take some volatus and some uh, eider. So we should be good. It should be pretty safe. I've got backups of everything just in case. Oh, I don't have a wand. That's probably important to have. All right, so we get this going. This will give us the boots of the traveler. Open up. I'm not sure what it opens up in the quest log as far as the next item. Probably some other infusion item. That's a lot of iter, man. This never gets old watching this thing work. <laughs> Always a little tense too that it's going to eat your items or make a big mess of uh, taint around the world. Alright, looks good. Looks like everything worked without any problems. Boots of the Traveler. Sweet. So let's turn that guy in. That's going to be in Thaumic Revolution. We, we get another Thaumium uh, wand. So I guess we didn't need to make the Thaumium wand after all. Oh well. Well I can now keep one in here. This guy, was that started fully charged? Yes, it did. So I'll keep one in here and then one I can use for just general activities. Uh, the other thing I want to make is a wooden golem. So in my alchemical construct here, I'll put a piece of great wood. It's going to take some, uh, oh, let's just look here, um, Humanus, uh, Momentus, or whatever, and Spiritus. What's that one called? Modus. There we go. And that'll make a wooden golem here. All right, and I only need one for now. And that will finish off this quest here. So I already made the bell, that was a piece of cake. And then I've got the wood golem. It's gonna give me an animation core. This looks like a, a fill core and a reward bag. Yep, a fill core. A good bag contains a stick. Oh, redstone, okay, sure. So we can put this stuff in here. And we'll deal with that later. All right, what did that open up exactly? Nothing after the boots, okay. Now it wants me to make a Thaumium Golem. All right, that's not a big deal. Actually, can I make that right now? Probably can. Thaumium Golem, where are you? Probably easier to search for Golem, huh? There he is. So he takes a Thaumium block with a little bit more of the stuff that I already have. So yeah, let's just do that here. How much thaumium do we got? Um, Zippo, okay. Let's get then some iron. Actually, we'll check in here. Oh, I got plenty. Just have never moved that over. I think 116 also adds thaumic energistics, which will be really cool. Because I've had it in various packs I've used, but I've never got deep into it. Uh, might as well open this common treasure while we're at it. Gold coins, that's it. All right. So Thaumium block, I think that's all we need. So let's go back in here and finish off the Thaumium Golem. Come on. Why don't you want to make? Humanus, eight. There's something stuck in the pipes probably. Tch, 
Okay, I don't know. I just moved them to different places. There must be something stuck in the pipes. Oh, well. But once I put them in new places, they worked fine. Okay, so Thomium Colum quest done. We get another one and a reward back. I'll probably give these guys alchemy cores and assign them to work on the uh, furnaces. Um, I seem to recall, I can't remember, but if you put a bellows on these furnaces, it makes the uh, the V come out quicker into the Limbics. So I tried that. I'll see if it works. Um, but yeah, so we'll worry about these golems once we have uh, some alchemy cores. And the good bag has a diamond chisel. All right. I got so many chisels I don't know what to do with. And that unlocks the last one, which is alchemical animation core. Okay. How do we make that one? Is that uh, decanting or to jars? Da, da, da. And that's, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, we'll make that um, next time maybe. Let's get into the actual wither fight. Um, for that, I would like to make some reinforced obsidian. If you look at this guy, he's wither proof. Um, he's very expensive though. So dark iron bars, dark iron blocks, and obsidian for one. Um, I'm probably going to use a 5x5 five five cube to kill them in. These worked pretty well, but it suffocated them, and I actually need to kill them, not suffocate them. So let's do a 5x5 five five cube, so we'll need a, f what, 4 maybe? Reinforced obsidian? Just to go across the middle so you can't get to us. So let's make 16 of these. You can see now why I... Wait, I know I made a lot more dark steel than that. Really? Okay. Oh, I already made the blocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I was getting really confused. I'm like, I know I made more dark steel than that. Okay, so it was um, dark steel on the corners, dark steel bars on the sides, and then some obsidian. All right, let's get one, two, three, four. All right, then we'll need some soul sand. We don't have a ton. Let's kill the wither twice if we can. And then some heads. Do we not have any um, wither heads? Oh, that one. So I think they've fixed the nether gate. Let's check. Yes, they have. Okay. That used to be bugged. It used to use the entire durability if you crafted with it in AE. Um, so, let's get a 5x5 five five cube out. We've got a giant... Um, I think those are in here. In this chest that I've never moved. Yep. Alright, so a small compact machine will be 5x5. Five five. And... What we're going to do is let's go inside one of these and then we'll put this guy here and then go inside of him. That way we should be far enough away from any of our devices. What's this one? Is that a tree farm? Yeah, we're, th we're four checks away. There's no way he's going to destroy it. And then we just make a little thing right... Hmm. I want to make it so he can't get out, but he can't see me. If I go like... Hmm. Yeah, I want to move that one over one. Let me get some cobble. Oop, wrong one. Can I break this now? Good. <laughs> I can break it with a can't. So if I put them like right... No, not there. Because the wither's fat, and I'm going to take advantage of that. I could make a ton of these, but that's a, lot of, that's a lot of dark iron. I don't think he can get to me from here, and I can just hide behind this so he can't hit me. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a try. All right, so get this guy ready. Uh, let's get this guy out just in case. And this could be bad, but oh well. All 
Oh, I want to set my spawn area over here. Oops. So that if I come back to this, I'll be behind here. So let's spawn right here. We're going to bring him to life. Come out of here until we see that he's, or until we hear him, I guess. There we go. Now we'll come back in. Ow, he's hit me. Okay, that wasn't good. Where, oh, he's on my side. How did he get over here? All right, that didn't work as well as I thought it would. He's in melee mode now. All right, we killed him. <laughs> We're going to have to rethink our wall. That was not that was not what I thought it would do, especially since he flew over it. I thought he would be trapped. Well, let's let me kill him one more time cuz I need one more another star and then I'll be back. All right, he's dead. I was thinking if I put this one like up on the ceiling, that might be a little bit better. I probably need a couple more just to make a little bit of like a checker pattern almost so he can't get through, maybe like four more. Or just use the smaller three by three cube and he'll suffocate, but I'll end up killing him because I'll get the final blow. All right, so need the healing ax here to recover. And we've got our two nether stars. So with these nether stars, I want to make something that uses my reinforced, or not my reinforced, my compressed cobble that we've been making. So I got plenty of this. This is quintuple. I actually need some quadruple. I think I'm gonna need actually one more quadruple. And I'm gonna need some triple as well. You guys probably know what I'm making, but I also need some diamond blocks. Four of them to be precise. Alright, diamond blocks in the middle, quadruple on the outside, triple in there. Nope, wrong way. There we go, bedrockium ingots, I need four of them. Bedrockium is really good, it's actually really heavy, you can see that I got slowness when I went heavy it, or when I carry it. Uses for bedrockium, we can make a block of bedrockium, which is also witherproof, so we could, um, that was another thing. Um, that's going to also be involved in the very final quest, which is to leave the deep dark. So bedrockium is very important. Dark steel armor is really easy. We actually have enough to make that. And the ludicrite is nether stars, plutonium, and the ludicrite is... Let's see if we can find out how to make the dust here. Come on. Uh, Enderium with primal mana on it. <laughs> primal mana is mana... Dust, Mana Dust is Cryothium, Manilium, and Galgadorian. So there's quite a lot involved in making this final block. Um, the last thing we also need is Icorium, and this is like the end game Thomcraft item with hypergenic, uh, Hyper Energetic Nitor, four Icorium blocks, Singularity, and a ton of stuff. So that is our, our end goal, basically, of this pack, is to craft one of those. The other uses for bedrockium. Um, I can get a ton of fluid bedrockium. That's not what I need. I can make another drum if I want to, but that is six the <laughs> six ingots. That's really expensive. Six diamond blocks. Um, but here we go. The watering can reinforced, which takes the soul fragment and a bowl. Bowl I've got, and the soul fragment. Remember, was a quest reward. Normally, you have to use the soul fragment on yourself, and it will permanently steal a heart to make one of these. I didn't have to do that. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, didn't make it right. Or did I? And it's just bugged. Um, so, it needs the unbound soul fragment. Hmm. Interesting. So I might still have to. Does it, didn't, I swear I hit use on this and it said it could make. No, it didn't. 
I think he gave us the wrong one. That might be fixed in a pack uh, upgrade, but let's just let's just do it the way you're supposed to do it because I really want one of these. So it's a Etheric Sword and one of my life. That's two uh, unstable ingots and obsidian. So we need some two iron, two diamond. I'm almost out of diamond and an obsidian. And one of my activated division sigils. All right, vanilla crafting bench, crafting station. I think it's in here. All right, so divide by diamond. Etheric sword. All right, so if I shift right click, no. how do I take my life? Come on, make me a soul fragment. Soul crafting. All right, let me research on how to do this because I wasn't expecting to have to, so let me uh, go figure it out. Okay, that was actually really easy. All you have to do is craft with it. So, etheric sword in... Uh, oh, we have to place it in our own crafting inventory. And you can see we get the soul fragment. Watch our hearts right now. We're at two bonus hearts. We are going to take that away. And we feel diminished. Um, actually, we were at quite a bit more. We just hadn't healed up, but we should be one less than what we were actually with. With um, Tinkers, it actually is not a big deal. It's just going to eat this green heart canister, basically. I won't get the bonus, so I should end up with 17 hearts. And now we've got our Soul Fragment. So, oops. Go back out here and finish this guy off. And we get the Watering Can reinforced. Now that thing's going to be actually really awesome for us in our... Um, tree farm area or or in our other uh, normal farming area. I'm going to start with tree farm because I need a lot of wood. So I'm going to hijack this Atomus Activator which I've been filling with bone meal. Oops. Give that back. No. There we go. So we'll put that there. Um, let's get all the bone meal out of here. We can just send it back to A system by throwing it in here. Okay. And you come with me. Oh, I forgot he takes power, doesn't he? Okay, we're going to have to give him some power. But what he's going to do, you can see this watering can. If I if I water it, you see how fast? It's infinite use, and it just makes stuff grow like crazy. Probably faster than this chopper can deal with it. <laughs> It's insane. It makes trees grow even when they shouldn't. Like, technically, they're too close to the wall here, but they'll grow. All right, now I have to be able to get back into this thing. How high does this thing activate from? All right, go away. I need you to go away. Where's Vainmire when you need it? So I might really want to upgrade the speed on this guy. Come on, I need you to go away. If I... Let's give this a try. If I put the autonomous activator down here, facing up... Oh crap, it ate it. Ah! Alright. So if the autonomous activator is here, facing up, will it still apply the water to these guys? Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe it was. They were actually growing pretty fast. Let's let this thing finish cutting down and then we will give it a try. I'll help it out. I think there is an axe in the game that will um, basically vein mine trees. Actually, how, how good is this one, do you think? It, oh, it sucks. Okay. All right, plant your saplings again for me, buddy, so I can watch how fast you cut down. So 
So Thomas activator. Ah, it stole it again. And it stole my water. No, my water can's still there. Silly vacuum hopper. All right, try this again. So I don't make the particles, but let's see. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay, no big deal. <laughs> so that is going to severely make our um, wood go up quickly. Wow, it's growing so fast. And we have no durability on our hatchet. Um, it's bronze right now. If I made this into like cobalt, maybe that would be faster. Or manilian. No, I think cobalt's fastest. Let's go see if we have any cobalt. But yeah, that um, that watering can is infinite durability. It'll use a little bit of power. Oh, actually, it's not using any power right now. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> and we're good to go. So we're looking for cobalt. Yes, we do have some cobalt. Cool. That's too much. I only need one. Anything else would make this guy go faster? No. Okay. So outside, let's melt this guy down. It's so much blood in there from mobs just dying. And we need an ingot. Is that reset to be an ingot? I probably had an ingot of cobalt in there. I just didn't notice. Um, I, w I actually want an axe head, don't I? We could get a lumbering axe and get that guy up to Obsidian Reinforced 10. Hmm, maybe I'll do that. Not right now. I'll experiment with it. Alright, come on, Melt Cobalt. Hey, you know what I am? I'm going to make a a lumbering axe out of uh, magical wood, so it gets the the nine modifiers, then upgrade it to all, you know, all the best stuff. All right, cobalt, go. And then we should have a, an axe that can actually chop this stuff down really quick. Uh, where did we move Tinker stuff? Is that inside? Yeah, it's up on the ledge. So you, with now an axe head, you are mining speed 8 up to 14, so that should cut down these trees a lot faster. Oh no, too high. Crap. Oh, crap. Dang it, that's why I was using bronze. Okay, uh, we need to upgrade this guy to diamond then. That's not a big deal if I can get in here here. Didn't mean to chop down the dirt. Oh, now it's stolen it. Uh, you're probably going to steal this too. Okay, so diamond chopper. Let's see if we have a diamond axe. We do. Okay, good. Oh no, we're short diamonds. Is there any recipe for these? Oh, well, that's a bummer. Um, can I melt these diamond hoes to get something back out of them? Nope. Anyone know how to get diamonds back? I need like a deconstruction table or something. Because I have no idea why that reward gave me 10 diamond hoes. There must be something you can do with them. Or it's an inside joke. All right. Well, our uh, this guy's off, off, uh, turned off for the moment. Um, the last thing I think we want to make. Um, I started making the mankinis. Um, so there's the rumos mankini, which was just uh, leather. The angelic, oops, not the angelic. The Kawaii one was a bunch of dyes, so I had to go bone mill some grass to get some dyes for that. And then now we've got the Angelic, which takes uh, three more blocks of diamonds 
two nether stars and the kawaii one to make the angelic. So I need to go diamond hunting. I'm going to do that in between episodes. And when we come back next time, we'll make the diamond chopper, um, the angelic mankini. And I think we also need to make a few more diamond, or at least one more diamond machine here. Yeah, the diamond uh, animal farmer. So we've got a few things to do. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you uh, did, hit the like button. you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to start doing some uh, comments of the day. So every time we do an episode, I'm going to go go back to the previous one or maybe two episodes ago because I sometimes record these two at a time and uh, read a comment that I especially like or one that I want to answer. And uh, we'll just talk about someone's questions or that kind of stuff. So if you want to be included in that, make sure you comment below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye.